Hey, 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 guys, how you doing? How you doing? So today I thought we would take a look at the Cobra Hydrofoil. This is called the Moray, right? Wasn't it called that? But we also got recent pickups here of Beachhead, uh, Roadblock, and a version of Rock and Roll with some giant big guns. <laughs> and I've got a Viper and a Crimson Guard here to use with the Hydrofoil because I don't have the driver for the Hydrofoil. So, um, yeah, yeah. But we can use these guys to put in, in the little locations where they're going to go and check out the features of this thing. All right, let's get into it. All right, we got a pretty good, pretty good angle on this thing. So I picked up Beachhead. Beachhead's been one that I've been wanting for quite a while. I, I really like Beachhead. He's one of my favorite characters. And I, I bought him like this because I had the backpack at home for Beachhead. So I put his backpack on and now I just need his gun. And I think that's all he had was a gun and a backpack, if I remember correctly. Beachhead is awesome. I Like I said, this was always one of my favorite characters. I love this guy. So cool to have him. Another favorite of mine has been Roadblock, and Roadblock version 1 is my favorite Roadblock. I got to get a uh, ammo pouch for that, and it looks like this was taped on, so I'm going to have to... I'll mess with that in a little bit, um, see what I can do. But he's got his gun and the stand and backpack with the helmet. Really cool to have Roadblock. And then I got this version of uh, Rock and Roll, basically because it was cheap. He was very inexpensive. It was like he was sitting in the cabinet for 10 bucks. So I was like, 10 bucks with all these weapons? I'll get that. So he's got two uh, belts of ammunition that go along there into these weapons. And uh, they're giant machine gun weapons that he hangs on to. It's a little loose in the legs. I might have to put a new rubber band on that guy. I don't know. I don't know. But what we really got to look at today is the Cobra More. The, um, this here, Hydrofoil. So we built this a while ago. You may have seen us build this when we got the giant lot from Fort Myers here in Florida. So you may have seen us build that as we were pulling out parts in that lot. Um, very happy with this more. I'm, I'm surprised that, uh, a little surprised that we had most of the pieces for this thing when we bought that lot. Now I am missing the giant torpedoes that go on each side. So there'll be these big black torpedoes that slide into these slots here. And they will sit under this lip on each side. So I'm missing those. And I think that's the only parts I'm missing. Other than if you take off this cover back here. There was uh, exhaust. Engine exhaust parts that I think curve around here. And come down this way. And um, when you put this cover on. They'll stick out of this hole and sort of go over this area here. So um I'm missing those exhaust pieces, but otherwise I think this has everything. Oh, there's a lens that goes in here, but you don't really need that, you know. Some of the features this thing has is we, of course, have these hatches that open up and figures can go in there. So we could, we could take our Viper here. Let's take his weapon off and everything. I know that's not the correct weapon, but it, well, it's the correct weapon, but the wrong color. So the Vipers can stand, guys can stand in here. Let me see here. I guess you can't close the hatch once they're stood in there. But they stand in there, and you can get another guy on that side standing up. There's like a, there's a circular spot with a peg hole in it. And they kind of go into that circular spot. Now, I, I kind of thought that the thing could close with the minute, but I guess it doesn't. Yeah. 
There's two chairs inside here, one on each side. This one has a steering wheel and this one's like a, just a control console. So you could put a guy in the chair here. And he can drive the vehicle that way. And we can put our Crimson Guard guy, we will take him off and put him in a spot as well. So if he doesn't want to drive, he could be like sitting up here and there's a peg for his foot to go on, on this top gun. And we can put his hands on the gunner, gunner things and this thing turns around so we can do 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 it's pretty cool and there's a foot peg in there to sort of hold them in place so we can have a driver and a gunner an extra driver two guys up here who can be shooting out once you open the hatches we got a gun here in the middle that has a handhold on it so i guess the guy who's sitting over there could handhold this gun in a weird position Two giant blasters on each side. This one is missing its peg, it kind of broke. So I could use stand to get another one over here on the on the right side, just so that it can peg in there. But it's not a big deal if I don't get that. Oh, and we have four guns in the back, that's right. I've only got one of the four guns. We need three more of these little guns for the back, which I didn't realize I needed till just now. There are peg holes in the bottom um, for each side. So there's three, you can fit three figures on each side. So six guys there. So we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven action figures that can fit on this boat. Pretty cool. And in the back here, we have depth charges which can come out and you can tilt it and they will kind of, well, I guess you got to pull them out. I thought maybe you could dump them, but they kind of stick in there a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you have depth charges here and here. And then we have a secret gun turret like thing. Watch this. And you know, in addition to these yellow missiles that you can pop off the side and And we got the torpedoes that would be here that drop into the water and take off. But you also have this. Du, du, du. And it opens up the secret area with missiles that can come out. I guess I only have three of the four missiles, so I need one of those. I might have one of those in my... This These look f familiar. I might have one of these torpedoes in my... Um, parts bin so I gotta look for that but yeah that so that goes back there you know pretty cool pretty cool and the last feature we have is this lever this lever back here which can pop out the hydrofoils themselves so you got these now I think I suspect that my hydrofoils are on backwards because you would think that the angled front should go towards the front of the boat on both of these. That's the, And the other thing is when you fold them up, they don't tuck all the way up inside here. And if you see, there's a notch right here. And I think that that notch goes over this beam when you fold it up for both the front and back. So I suspect mine are on backwards. Whoever put this together, put it together backwards, is what I think. So I don't know, someday I'm going to have to figure out how to get this mechanism apart and try to turn them around, but um, anyway, it, it works fine for what it's, what it's doing right now, because it kind of acts as a stand for the boat, you know, because um, I tipped it over, I've dumped out all our pieces, so we got to put everything back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it kind of acts like a stand for the boat, so it's pretty cool, I think. 
Overall, the Hydrofoil is an awesome vehicle. I really, really like this thing, and uh, I just think it's freaking incredible. Yeah, really, really cool looking vehicle, and highly recommend picking one up if you got the chance. Um, can be a little pricey, I think, these days, you know, to get one complete, which is why I was ecstatic to find one in the condition that it's in. I mean, I guess I am missing... The two, the big things are the torpedoes. I would really like those. I mean, if ever, if I don't get the uh, other missile or these little little guns or the the exhaust, I'm not. That's not like a big importance to me. The biggest thing would be these torpedoes, the big black ones that go on the side. And then I, I mean, I'd be happy having it on display just like that. With the with the, if I had the torpedoes. So those are the main things I'm going to look for. But otherwise, I'm. Like I said, very happy with this in the, in the condition and the state it's in. Beautiful piece. Highly recommend grabbing this one. Really cool. And I guess these things do really float. Yeah, they do. They really float. All right, guys. I think uh, that's about it, right? You know, I don't know. I think that's that's pretty that's pretty good, right? Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate you checking this out with me. I hope you got something out of this. Um, hope it was enough to look at just like it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that? We're going to do it like that. How's this? Let's see. Framing this up, right? We're framing this up. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. I'm John. I'm out of here. And uh, we'll talk to you guys on the next one. Yo, Joe. I guess I guess really for this one, we should be like, Cobra! <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you later. Have fun out there. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. What is your opinion of the hydrofoil, the Cobra More? See you guys later. Bye-bye.